Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I would start another little mini series for you today. Um, and what I want to do is make a knife, um, in particular a carving knife specifically for wood carving. Um, now it's something I've never tried before, I've done a little bit of metal working but I've never made my own tool from start to finish. So it's something I'm quite excited about um, and hopefully it's something you guys can try as well. Um, now very fortunately I was talking to a chap online recently um, who offered to send me a piece of offcut steel that he had. Uh, lying around uh, which was extremely nice of him um, so this is what we're going to be using um, this is a piece of 1095 pattern welded steel um, as you can see it's got a really nice pattern effect on there and I'm hoping that will come out really well on the finished product um, and really I'm kind of um, how can I describe this? I'm, I'm kind of sort of just working from instinct here. Um, I've done a bit of research. Um, this is going to be a stock removal knife. Um, so I'm going to be cutting it down, then filing it down into shape, putting a bevel on it, sharpening the edge. Um, and hopefully, if it works, um, I'm going to be uh, heat treating it myself as well. Now, heat treating is quite a difficult thing to do, especially with the very basic, simple setup I'm going to be using. But it's something I want to try and see if it'll work. Um, fortunately, this particular piece of steel comes to me pre-annealed, um, which essentially means it's been heated and allowed to cool quite slowly, um, which makes it softer than it would be if it, if it was hardened, um, which means it should be easier to work with. Um, so we'll see how that goes as we go along. Um, but what I'll do, guys, let me move the camera just a little bit closer in. Um, I'll show you how we're going to mark this up, start cutting it down to shape, and we'll go from there. Right then guys, so this is the knife I'm going to be basing it on, it's my little Mora Frost carving knife. Um, really, really good carver actually, which is why I'm using it as sort of a template. Um, and to start with, all I want to do is just mark that out very roughly on this piece of steel. Now hopefully you can see, if I show you the cross section here, we're actually slightly thinner on this end than we are up here. So I'm going to use this as the basis of my blade uh, for no other reason than there's less material that I need to remove. Um, so all I'm going to do is lay that flat down on my work surface lay the knife on top of it just to get it very roughly lined up and I'm going to make this slightly larger uh, than the knife itself because it gives me slightly more options and I'm just going to put a very rough pencil line down there which will essentially demark my plate um, and then I'm going to come back and just draw again a very rough line down the center. Now this is gonna be uh, what's known as a stick tang knife, which essentially means the tang will sit inside the handle, it won't come all the way through to the end. And um, for a small knife like this for carving, it's not really required. Um, so that's basically it for now. As you can see, it's marked out, hopefully that's picking up on the camera there okay, and I only need a very rough pencil line at this point. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clamp this into my vise, um, and just very, very, quickly cut down and get rid of the excess material. Now I'm not going to show you this whole process because to be honest it's not massively interesting. Um, but one point I did want to make just before I cut over to, to the next stage is that I've put on my hacksaw a new fresh hacksaw blade. Um, something I noticed uh, quite recently, especially when I was doing my modding and axe series, um, was that when I uh, started work with it I, I was using a blade that I'd used a couple of times before. It was by no means blunt but it wasn't hugely sharp. Um, and that sort of caused me problems later down the line. Um, so if you're going to do this, I would definitely recommend starting with a fresh hacksaw blade. Right then guys, well this is it. So. I have cut down roughly to my lines. I've actually remarked them out with a Sharpie just so you can see them a bit more clearly on the camera. Obviously there's a fair bit of stock still under here to be removed and I'm gonna be using a file for that in the next episode. Um, now, what I wanted to say guys is, um, it's a bit of an odd, odd thing really, but um, I, I watch a lot of YouTube channels, same as you guys, um, and one of the things I've noticed is that I tend to shy away from watching particularly long YouTube videos. Um, normally I'll be sitting there on the train or at home or whatever, just flicking through YouTube channels, I'll see a video from someone that I subscribe to, 
and um, you know if it's kind of anything between sort of two five seven minutes long something like that I'll generally watch it um, longer than that and, and depending on how much time I've got um, I'll either watch it or not um, so what I'm going to try and do with this series is try and keep all the, all the, the episodes really short and sweet um, so for today obviously we've roughed out the blank for our knife um, and the next one uh, will hopefully be um, obviously sort of cleaning it up, getting it down to the right sizes, um, and then we'll move on, so on and so forth. Um, so hopefully that works for you guys. Uh, as I say, I want to try and start doing a few sort of short, sharp um, series for you, just so that they can, I can kind of just bang them out, one, two, three, four, um, and you're not having to sit there and, and watch for sort of, you know, 15 or 20 minutes of me doing some very repetitive, boring stuff. Um, so as I say, guys, next episode we will be uh, refining this blank down so that we've got our uh, sort of the template for our knife that we can then start working on properly. Um, and uh, that, that was it really guys, so I hope it was useful. Um, hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.